Hey guys, what is up? It's Austin from Austin's Tutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple, um, a simple splash screen in Game Maker 8.0 or 8.1. Um, they do not really sell this version or anything above. They don't really actually. Yeah, you can still download Game Maker Lite, uh, 8.0 or 8.1, but you cannot get a uh, Game Maker Standard or Pro unless you do it illegally, uh, pirate it. I don't support that. Um, but you can do it if you want to. Uh, but I am using Pro. You can use. I think you can use Light to do this. Um, but basically, um, if you use the older versions, it, it works just as well the new one, just as well as the new ones. Uh, so there shouldn't be any problems with that. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a new game. Um, so we're going to do File New. I guess we're going to save changes. We're do New Game, and then you want to go ahead and create. I uh, want to create. I guess we'll do two rooms. All right, there you go. And then name your first room title, or no, pre-title, or splash, or whatever you want to call it, because that'll be your splash screen. And here you want to name it title, or title main, or whatever you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, since this is a tutorial, I'm just gonna set my resolu resolution to 720p. Uh, you can do whatever you want; doesn't matter. Um, just as long as you have it how you want it to be, it's not up to me, it's up to you. Uh, once you have your rooms done, all you have to do is now you want to create a, uh, you want to create two backgrounds. This one will be free title. And you want to load in your background. Make sure that it is the same resolution as your room. So if your room free title is 720 by 480 like mine is, make sure that your picture is the same size. Otherwise, it'll look, it won't look good. Um, so, say your resolution is like 640 by 480. You make sure it's that resolution right here. So, um, what we want to do is load in your background from wherever you have it. Go to the directory and make sure it's a PNG. Hit OK. And then you want to do another background. Call this one Title. Um, and by the way, this is a, a new series called Game Maker 8.1 Tutorials. So, um, yeah. Anyways, for this next part, you want to go ahead and double-click title, and load the background, and load your title background. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And you should see when you hit debug that the um, default stuff goes on. And then, oh, that's right. We haven't added it in. Nothing happened. So that was a fail. But nothing happened because you have to go to your room, and you have to go to backgrounds and choose background right here. No background, change it to pre-title, hit the check, go to title, and change this one to uh, backgrounds, and change this one to title. Alright, now that you have that, it should show up, the first one should show up, but it won't change to the title, because of the fact that we haven't um, done any done anything. So it just says Austin Tutorial Studios, and it won't change to the title. In order for it to change the title, you must create a new object. Just call it Timer. Uh, make sure it's no sprite and all the rest of it is default. And you want in events, you want to either right click or just hit and hit Add Event, or just down here, just hit Add Event, Other, Room Start, and then over here you want to add under Main or is it Main One? Under Control, you want to add now. Yeah, main two, you want to add sleep. Set this to 2000. This is 2000 milliseconds. Make sure redraw is true. Hit OK. And then you want to go under main two, or is it main one? Main one, and do go to or a different room. I haven't used this version in a while. Um, let's see. Change it to, sorry about that, that's my brother in the background. I told him not to talk during the video. Uh, make sure transition transition is no effect, and uh, the new room will be title. And once you've done that, just hit OK. And you need to go back to pre-title. Under objects, select timer, and just put it right up here in the corner, and it won't show up. And then you want to go ahead and debug. And there you go. It'll switch in a minute here. And now you're at your title screen. And uh, next video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a GUI here. So, like buttons and, you know, the menu. 
So there'll be a, like a play button, um, an options button, and an about button, and it'll bring up different windows. Obviously, you can't maximize this as the size uh, that the game will come, but like I said, you can make it your own. You can make it full screen. Um, if you've had experience with Game Maker before, that's great, but if not, then I'll, pr I'll help you out here and show you how to do that stuff later on. But next tutorial is going to be about the buttons and how to make a GUI. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.